So what is going on guys, it's Triple G here back with another New World video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the healers offhand, what weapons that you should be using and how to use them including how you can give those extra weapons extra damage without actually specking into any strength or other attributes. Guys if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch we stream 5 times a week and otherwise let's get straight into this video. So those of you that are playing healer at the moment will know that the healer's life staff can be used as a ranged weapon and is pretty effective as well, particularly if you spec into a ton of focus. So very quickly, let's just have a look at the attributes that I have here. So you can see I am heavily in focus. Now this will be for a few reasons that we obviously touch on. The most obvious being that I am a healer. So when I'm playing with other people or I need to heal myself, I want as much focus as I can. I also have 68 um, constitution now the way that i have done this if we just quickly roll over the gear is that you'll see that my gear is the syndicate gear now the syndicate gear is something that i touched on in a previous video where you can re-roll heavy armor which usually runs with strength and constitution to constitution and focus using the syndicate tokens that you can buy if you haven't seen that video Go and check it out it is dirt cheap to perfectly roll your gear meaning that you won't have to actually spec any points into constitution because most of it will actually come from the item buffs and equipment so let's talk about the weapon mastery first so as you can see here full disclosure my warhammer is level 13 and my great axe is level 12. now this is to be expected because this is my offhand as you can see my life staff is at level 20 and i've touched on a few other weapons as well trying out other things for the offhand but let's talk about the warhammer first so the warhammer skills is going to be personal preference but i highly recommend a couple of skills so we have shockwave and clear out these are the two that i definitely recommend one of the problems that you're going to have with a healer is sometimes there's just going to be too many enemies now clear out here will allow you to swing around and knock enemies back this works 90 percent of the time the only time it will not knock an enemy back is obviously a if they're resistant to knock back or b if they're currently in the middle of an attack it may not knock them back the other one is shockwave shockwave is brilliant for both pve and pvp and can stun a multitude of enemies at the same time then you want to just be buffing those abilities as well so with the hammer you're going to be buffering um with fragility you're also going to be buffing with meteoric crater which will expand that radius as well i like to take mighty gavel here as an overhead leap it's an incredibly fast attack so if you are stuck and you just need a quick heavy hitting attack mighty gable can work really really well and as you're going through i would expect you to pick up things like concussive impact will give you 15 percent damage against those targets affected by the buff so when using the great hammer i highly recommend that you use a combination of heavy attacks with the great hammer and then use your stun abilities as well so what i like to do is actually hit the heavy attack first which will then allow me to follow it up with the knockback. Now, this enemy was using an attack, so I couldn't knock him back. So I can use the stun mechanic, and if he was still alive, follow that up with another heavy or the actual mighty gable, which would have slammed down on the ground. This means that you are pretty effective. It obviously taking on a 1v1, and if there was a multitude of enemies, we're going to be able to knock them back. And this is really effective. It doesn't matter how many enemies you have. We can kite as many enemies as you want here, and then once we've got them all into a relatively same place, we can then use our sweeping ability to knock them back. Now, again, they were attacking here, so I can stun all three of them at the same time here, allowing me to reposition, maybe pop one of my healing things, and then come back in and hit them again. The hammer is something that you can definitely use to help you clear some of the content. Moving on to the Great Axe then. Now, the Great Axe is something that I definitely recommend if you're going to be playing with for PvP. Now, remember, if you are playing PvP, that your primary responsibility is to get heals on the ground and to make sure your teammates are alive. That being said, there are times in the rotation where you're going to have some cooldowns and there is an, the ability for you to use the Great Axe. Now, I don't actually recommend that you actually go in there and slash unless you are super, super confident However, you can use the gravity well to your advantage. So if you start popping all your heals straight away, 
and then you can use your gravity well now gravity well will basically disable pvp people for a few seconds allowing your actual damage dps and tank players to get in there and deal a ton of damage they'll be able to use their own um gravity wells as well so let's look at the tree so again level 12 here so this is your offhand so you might not have it up to scale yet what I liked in particular is I like charge. Charge will allow me to close the distance on enemies when I need to, particularly if my teammates are pushing. Obviously, we've touched on gravity well here and you'll be able to upgrade gravity well as you go. Um, and then execute. Execute is a splendid, absolute splendid skill for PvE as well. So it allows you to basically use grit, which will allow it to become unblockable. As you can see here, I've picked up some other support nodes, which will allow this axe to do damage. However, while we're on the subject of damage, once you get to max level, I have not done this yet because I am not max level. Once you have got to max level, you'll see this great axe at the moment that I have has a gem in it. This gem will basically convert some of this damage to void. What you're going to want to do is obtain an amber gem. Now, you, I've got some gems from the dungeons. They are in my storage at the moment. I am not using them yet. The amber gem will allow you to use the damage from focus to actually scale damage. Now, remember when we looked at the attributes here and I showed you that I was purely on focus, we only have 27 points in strength. Now, our hammer and our great axe use strength so we are obviously down some damage here if we put the amber gem into the great axe this will allow the great axe to scale off focus meaning that we will still have a ton of damage when we are actually in combat so it works really really well if you are struggling as a healer with some of the solo content that is what you want to do go into the dungeons lfg find yourself an amber gem the only reason that I am not slotting one in right now is I want to save my gems until I am max level. So there you have it, guys. That is it for today's video. This was requested in the comments section. So if you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Any comments, likes really do help this video and the channel. So I really do appreciate everything that everyone has thrown at me so far. And otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip.